Hey everyone, Sheila here from Life With Pets. So it has been a while since we have put a video out and it's been a long, long time since I have done an update on this tank. This is our 75 gallon community tank or our 75 gallon Amazon puffer community tank. So I thought that I would do an update on it, show you the fish, the plants, uh, and just do an update in general. So I'm just gonna get some food and feed them while I talk. So I actually use, um, I'm gonna do a mixture of, I don't know whether you can see it because I've got the lights off so that there's no glare on the tank. This is basically a mixture of pellets, vibrabites and a number of other pellets and the fish absolutely love this. So I am just gonna pour some of this in and then I'll close the lid up so we can see them eating. I'm just going to move the light so that maybe the lighting is a bit better in the tank as well. So now it's raining food and I know that this does look like a lot of food but several of the fish in here are very large and they do eat an awful lot especially these little guys they absolutely love the vibra bites and the denison barbs are getting really large as well. The shark here, I don't know whether you remember when we got these, I will insert some footage. They are probably about four to four and a half inches now. And eventually we are gonna be doing a new tank, hopefully, and go to a 125, because these guys will eventually outgrow the 75. So we obviously want to give them a lot more space. We do have several Pictus catfish in here. I don't know whether you can see them flying around at the back. They go around and clean up all the food. We have other cleaners in here as well. They will often come out at night and eat the food. So I usually will feed fairly heavily in the evening so that there is some food left over and they can then come out and feed because they usually don't come out when the light is on. So they will come out and feed later on. Also, there are several snails in here, the ones that survive. I think you can see a couple on that plant there. The puffers do eventually pick them off. We do also also have one lone guppy and we have the bala sharks we've got the bigger one here and then the slightly smaller one there there are seven or is it eight no I think the seven of the denison barbs also known as the red line torpedo barb or the rose line shark and then we have the three puffer fish which I don't know oh there's two over there well you can see one and then the other one is behind the uh, there we go there's all three of them in the shot now and then we have i think it's about 11 of the harlequin rasboras as well so the tank is doing really well you can see the plants are doing exceptionally well one of the things we always get asked about when it comes to plants is what do we do and in all the other tanks we do just root tabs in this tank we do predominantly do root tabs however i do also use and i'm just going to get it when i remember which is probably about two or three times a month i also use h2o plants vital x and this has been really good in here as well like I say i don't use it maybe as often as i should but as you can see the plants are doing very very well and growing very healthily so the tank overall is doing great. We did actually take, I'm just gonna put that back up there. We did actually take the hang on the back off. So we moved the sponge filter that was in this corner over here. It was just in here. We've moved it to the other end. And then at this end, we've added in the uh, sun sun canister filter. And so that is now sort of blowing. And then you can see that it gives good flow and also surface agitation as well. So overall, the tank is doing amazing. Like I say, we are hoping to be able to upgrade it to a 125 at some point during the year. I know many of you are gonna be freaking out by all the food that is still on the bottom here, but let me tell you, it will be gone within the hour. They eat like crazy. They sort of have their mad go at the food and then they sort of chow it down and then they go back 
and pick it all off and like say the cleaners and the snails all come along and they will eat it up as well so like say within an hour all this will be gone because I usually will turn the lights off with it within about 40 to 45 minutes after doing a feeding like this so that the other fish can also come out and get the food as well I do notice we've got a lot of dead snails around in here which will be from the puffer fish and so I think the tank does actually need a pretty good clean. It is about eight, nearly nine months since we cut the teeth on the puffer fish. If you haven't seen that video, I can actually leave a link to it in the little top eye card. That is the one thing with Amazon puffers, despite them having a diet, a very regular diet of snails, they their teeth will still grow and so we do find that we have to trim them. We have had them now for about a year and a half and we have had to do it once in that time and I reckon that probably within the next month to six weeks we are going to have to do it again which is unfortunate but that's just the way it is unfortunately with these. Thankfully they are really good in that we are able to do it very very quickly and the last time we did it it didn't seem to bother them at all. They recovered very quickly. I think we were more upset about it than they were. The lighting on this tank is the light that actually came with the tank. This is a Marine Land 75 gallon and it was like the kit with the stand, the tank, and then it did come with a basic light. You'll have to excuse all the stuff on the top here. It's all my pots and everything. And then we also have this, which is this one here, the beams work. We have this one on a timer and it only comes on for about an hour to an hour and a half a day. This one we usually leave on for about six to eight hours a day and the, right now this is both the lights on so you can see that the tank is really really bright now if I turn off just the beams work one which is the brighter of the two you can see that the other one is quite low light really it really does make a difference at night I do like this one I like it on because it's then dark in the room and with that one on it's sort of like semi darkness and very often the fish that prefer to come out in the dark will come out because it's not as bright I'm just gonna put this other light back on for now though there we go so you can see there is quite a difference I will leave links to everything in the description box below I'll also leave the link to the canister filter which we actually just have down here on the side there so you can see that there we don't put it under the cupboard because we've got so much fish stuff in the cupboard that it's just down at the side there I do only need to actually clean that about every eight to nine weeks and even then it probably still doesn't need doing but we do do it about every eight to nine weeks and it does keep the tank really balanced. We do a 50 to 60% water change on this tank every week. Sometimes we'll go 10 days but on the whole it's once a week and we find that that keeps everything where it needs to be, all the water parameters are good and I do feed this tank fairly heavily which is probably why the fish have grown so much. The red lines that you can see here, it doesn't fully show on camera, but these are about four and a half to five inches long, the bigger ones. They are technically full grown. The big ones are, are technically full grown. However, we have seen them grow a lot bigger than this. And, but they usually, when they do that, will lose their red color. Thankfully, ours have got beautiful red color. We may add some more if we do actually increase the tank to a 125. I do think that we maybe would add one or two more of those. We would also like to add some more of the puffer fish because we absolutely love them. And we probably would do a much bigger school of the Harlequin Rasboras. I do think that we will probably change out the substrate right now. We're using Eco Complete. And I know loads of people love that, but I have to say I am not keen on it at all. So I do think that we probably will change out the substrate and obviously we will do a brand new scape on the tank when we're ready to update it. So about four days after I recorded that video we did actually find a deal on a tank that we 
were happy with and so here you can see us bringing in a 125 gallon into our house so just make sure that you stay tuned for those videos uh, we probably will be setting it up sort of over the time frame of maybe a month uh, obviously buying substrate and the decor and everything for that tank is going to be quite an expensive project so it's not something that is going to happen very quickly however i am thrilled that we have got the tank for these fish and i can't wait to set it up but right now we're just trying to figure out what substrate we want and and obviously cost and everything so that is videos to come so make sure you stay tuned for that if you're not subscribed then go ahead and do so and obviously don't forget to turn on that notification bell. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.